Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life with Neoxfu. And well, we just left Gonark's lair to the next chapter of Half-Life. We're almost at the end. I know I keep saying that, but I've actually this is my second time recording this part of the game because I didn't like how the previ how the previous recording came out, plus there were a few issues with it, so I decided to just re-record it. Um, we just defeated Gro Gonark. I almost said Gronark, but it's Gonark, because it's a portmanteau of gonads and monarch. Because <laughs> his character design is a giant ball sack hanging from a giant armored crab. Um, now before we get going, one of the confusing parts of this part of the level is these things because you'd figure oh you what are these jump into them and then they launch you up and you're like oh okay that's what I got to do I got to use these to get on those platforms up there and part of the problem with the um the, the original recording for this is that I forgot that you're not supposed to do that at all I was I was of the impression that that's exactly what you're supposed to do instead of actually exploring this beautiful little island right here. I was just in a hurry to get going and I wasn't I wasn't taking my time. I wasn't having fun. I was just I just wanted to get things over with, which is really wrong because you're supposed to go back here. And the answer truly is much more whoa, much more exciting. <laughs> Let's get these out of the way. First of all, oh. Well, good thing we got this. You know what, we haven't we haven't used any of these weapons in a while since we since we've come to Zen really. I know we used the uh this thing against Gonark, but because I just did a new game to get here, instead of finding out where I had saved, I I, I actually lost all my ammunition, so. Um makes it more exciting though, you know, on the edge. I mean I love I love this, I, I love the, the construction of these floating islands and such. I mean, you got crystals everywhere. It looks almost like a hive or something. It looks like pressed plant matter just smooshed together in order to make a floating island. Still got the head crabs and what look like the evolved head crabs. Like, I know that... Oh my god. And you have, you have Star Wars asteroid teeth coming out of the ground to try and trap you. <laughs> oh, hazardous chemical. Jeez. Is that from there? Um. But yeah, actually, after I recorded the Gonark episode, I actually found out and I had suspected this was true, but that the Gonark is supposed to be like the last ev part of the evolutionary line of the head crab that um, it's supposed to be the queen or something. The, the, uh, the spawner, if you will, of the head crabs, and that those little tiny, um, almost translucent ones will grow up into regular head crabs and then try to make their way into another gonark. I just like to think that these are the failed gonarks, that's all, because I mean, look, they got the four legs and they look almost like head crabs, too. Just looks like they've become part of the island itself, and that maybe the entire island has grown from those head crabs, which I think is just. A really cool idea that all of Zen is really like based around the anatomy of the head crabs. Now this is really cool too because suddenly we see this pillar sinking into the ground, so we get on it, hoping maybe it'll be an elevator. It'll go. Oh, there we go. And it is, and it's one of the spires we saw earlier, which I think is really cool. I didn't get you earlier. You must have had the luck to just land on one of those. And from here we're actually going to be doing a lot of, well not space jumping, but long jumping onto these platforms. If you're good enough you can take, you won't take any damage, which we need to make sure we don't take a lot of damage because we're at really low health right now. I tried to show you by pointing my crosshairs at it, but <laughs> forgot this is a first person game. Um, you know, it's just really fun jumping around these, too. 
Because, I mean, this it, this is this is what you'd expect from a space game. This is like hopping or This is... It feels like that video of the moon landing with Neil Armstrong just hopping around the moon. Like, the gravity is almost at the perfect level. It feels like you are hopping around an alien planet. <laughs> and it's fantastic. Alright. And we gotta make it there. We got we have the long jump. Oh crap. Where are you? I don't see you. There you are. You blend in. Okay. Yeah, use your death and I'm Im imminent. I saw almost said imminent. I know. Now, the thing with this part of the map, this little island, is oh, get that guy quick. What we have to do is we have to get to that little platform over there in order to teleport out of here. Now you'd think, how do you get over there? I mean, we're nowhere near that. That's actually why this part of the game is so cool. Just jump onto one of these guys and go for a ride. Well, hopefully you don't die. <laughs> of course, I'm not really good at this game. I just think it's fun, but... Oh, we made it. Cool. I was thinking we were gonna... Let me use some misses on you, you know? Why not? Oh, crap. Well, might as well die anyway, because we're not gonna get up onto that platform very easily. There we go. Yeah, no, this is just... I don't know, I think it's just a really cool idea. This entire... This entire world. Well, not the, the entire world. I think Zen's an entirely cool world, of course. But I think that this is probably one of the more interesting islands on Zen as well, just because of, well, the way you have to solve the puzzle this way. I mean, I don't know any other games that would have you travel on the backs of your enemy ships like this in just such a leisurely fashion in order so that you can get, so that you can progress through the level. I just think it's... Fantastic, that's all. And you get this guy just flying around, too. Alright, we gotta make the jump now. Because otherwise, if you watch this guy... As soon as he passes, like, right by here, he's gonna disappear like that, so... Alright, so, um... Let's go. Okay, I wasn't sure, because there, there is a part that I do not want to show you guys yet. Because before we finish off this, this game, this LP of Half-Life, there is one certain area that I want to do something special for. So I'm trying to avoid getting to it in this video. Oh man, you're so good, Trank Gun. Did you see that? We took These guys are the strongest standard enemies that we see. Well, except for those mini, mini head guys. Um, almost ran into you guys. Instead of those, like, floating head guys, um, they're like the strongest standard enemy we, we, we've been seeing in the game. And we just took them out with two of the crossbow shots. All right, we're gonna, we are gonna have to wait a second because I do need health back quite a bit. So just sit back, relax, you know, take a sip of your drink. Will we make our way through this? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really glad that I decided to re-record this because I just wasn't really happy with the way that um, the video had turned out previously. Uh, and I'm okay with the videos leading up to it. Uh, I, could, I wish I could, had done a little research before I did the Gonark video, but it, it it did what I wanted it to to do, which is it it sh it showed me having fun with the game, and it showed how awesome Zen is. At least I hope it did. Um, oh, I love this! I love this because it just looks like 
a tranquil pond. Actually, let's get back up here. Just this, th this background, even though I know it's not that complex, it looks t just like the entire planet that we're on is just one huge tranquil pond with these islands floating upon it, and that the sun and the sky are just being reflected perfectly in it. I don't know, I think it's just... It's a very, very simple background, but I think it's really cool. That or it's just like a gas giant like Bespin or something, and it's just reflecting that way. And I love these. I, I, can't, I can't stress how much I love these things. Because it just makes... One second, I'll wait for it to pop its little head out. It just makes uh, the environment that much more um, active. Because, I mean, we could have come in here and we could have seen this guy. But because I jumped a little far and bro this bro got brought in, he turned into an entire di entirely different encounter because he was shrouded in darkness. I mean, the, the light goes away as you continue down the hallway. That's just... I think that's really cool. I'm going to take out these two guys before they see us, just because it makes things easier, but... I'm also glad that I'm doing it this time, because it gives me a chance to do a practice file, and that means I'm not going to be spending as much time just screwing around and not knowing where I'm going. I mean, the other re thing I like, the reason I like this, is because the environment changes and then we have to pull out our flashlight again. Something we haven't used in forever. Like, I, 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 when we got to Zen, because it's so bright, I legitimately forgot that we had a flashlight. And that's astounding that I could actually forget such a basic part of the game. But then it forces you to take it back out in cases like that. That and I just love areas like these. Once we get rid of these guys. Because you guys just ruin the atmosphere. Like, this just looks like a hidden grotto. And I believe this also heals you, the, the water, because it's... it's you, know, you see the little puffs above it? That mean... That I'm assuming means that it's a healing area. Alright, we're not going to mess with you. Because you'll screw us up badly. Um, you know, I just, I just, I just really, really like Zen. <laughs> I think it's a better design than most other alien worlds. Oh, crap. It's a behemoth. Oh, he saw us. Well, let's run. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Cool thing about this guy, though, is we don't even have to fight him. Like, we don't have electricity, so we can't really fight him. And then we get to see some of his attacks that we never got to see before. Let's get him to actually come out. But, I mean, we can just run past him right now, because he... He's on Zen. It's his home planet. He doesn't care about us. Well, I mean, now he does, because we shot him once, but... Usually, you'd just be able to... Just go right past him. No no trouble at all. Like, see, he's already gone. He's not concerned with us. We don't even have to fight him. Whoa, and I like that as well. Ooh. The idea that we don't have to fight every every enemy. That this guy isn't... Uh, isn't... Actually an enemy so much as he's just local fauna. And I love this as well. Hello. There we go. I love this as well, because we have enemies that have been bosses just coming back for the final level. I mean, that's what a final level really should be. It shouldn't be just a hard enemy, but it should be a test of everything that you've learned up to this point. So we now know how to take care of this guy. We, like, I didn't really show that earlier, but you want to... You can use grenades to distract him, and he'll go and look over there with his little, not tentacles, but his little, his little claws. I mean, we got enough stuff to be able to take care of him. It's just, again, it's a final exam. It's not a, it's not trying to trick you in any way. Because I, it knows that you've, it knows that you've already dealt with these guys, so it's not trying to 
again, it's not trying to trick you, it's not trying to trip you up, so. <laughs> but at the same time, if you haven't been paying attention, you won't know. Like, if you just breeze through the level, you won't know how to deal with these guys, and it does offer some amount of difficulty if you if you are not good at the game. But I mean, if you haven't had any real trouble up to this point, you're not going to have trouble here. Alright, so I believe this is the portal where I need to end the game because there is something after this that I'm going to make a little special episode out of. Now, the thing with this is that it might be almost a week before you get the next episode of Half-Life because I have to do a lot of editing for this episode. Uh, but I hope that when we actually get to the episode, you'll really like it. So I'm going to leave you guys here and hope that you enjoyed the video and ask you to return for the next episode of Let's Play Half-Life with Miox Fu. And... Well, hopefully, it goes well. Now, if this is not the portal that I think it... If, the, if this is not the portal I think it is, I will just continue the video, so... Let's go see. Alright, take it easy.